Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can invite anyone to a Microsoft Teams meeting, whether or not they're in your organization or if they're external to your organization. And so just to simplify that, what I mean by that is, let's say you want someone to join your meeting, it doesn't matter what email address they have, it could be Gmail, it could be Outlook, Yahoo, and if we really wanna go back in time, it could be Hotmail, it could be AOL. Yes, I went that far back. So whatever email address someone happens to have, you can have them join your meeting. I'm gonna show you two different ways you could get that person into your meeting. Both of them are very simple, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it. And before we jump into it, as full disclosure, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. My HR department requires me to say that. All right, well, let's jump on the PC and let me show you how to do it. Here I am on my PC and you can see my calendar here is fairly empty, although I do have one very important meeting coming up on Friday called the Top Secret Meeting. Let me click into that. Now, I work for a company and we're developing a very exciting product and I have two of my team members. These people are internal to my organization, so they both work at Contoso and I've included both of them in this meeting. Unfortunately, I don't think we have the in-house expertise to execute on on this so I need to bring in some outside help so to bring in an outside person into your meeting what you can do is once you click into the meeting on the attendee line just like how you add people within your organization to the meeting you can do the same for people outside of your organization so here what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to type in kevstrat3 at outlook.com I hear this guy has lots of good skills here I see it says invite kevstrat3 at outlook.com to this meeting. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and he is now on the attendee line. So what I can do now is I can click on send update. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's send out the update and my meeting has now included this outside person in the meeting. So let me go back now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually jump over to Kevstrat3 and show what this looks like. So here I am, I'm Kevstrat3, I'm looking at my inbox and I'm waiting for this meeting invitation to come in. Oh, here's a very interesting sounding meeting, top secret meeting, let me click on that. And so this is the outside person now who's seeing this. I just get the meeting invitation and I'm gonna go ahead and reserve or RSVP to this event. It sounds intriguing, so let me go ahead and click on yes. So now what I could do is if I click on the calendar down here, I'll see the meeting event show up on my calendar. So here on the 29th, I have this top secret meeting. Let me go ahead and click into that. Now, what I can do is I could join the meeting just like anyone else. So whether I'm internal or external, I could just as easily join this meeting. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's click on join Microsoft Teams meeting. And now it asks me if I wanna open it in Microsoft Teams. Well. If I have Microsoft Teams installed, sure, I could go ahead and open in Microsoft Teams, but I don't have to do that. I can also just continue in the browser. The browser provides a good experience and there are no downloads or installation required. So I'm gonna click on cancel for open in Microsoft Teams. And instead I'm gonna continue on this browser. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna click on that. So here what it does now is I get the meeting prompt before I enter the meeting and what I can do is I can enter a name. Now the system doesn't know who I am because I am external to the organization so it prompts me to type in a name and because I'm Kevstrat3 I'm gonna go ahead and type in my name Kevstrat3 and then I could click on join now. Now what will happen is it won't immediately drop me in the meeting because I am external to this organization so you see some text up here that says someone in the meeting should let you in soon. Well why don't we go ahead Ahead and let Kevstrat3 in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back to Microsoft Teams, my desktop app. This is the host of the meeting. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click into this top secret meeting and I'm gonna go ahead and join the meeting now. So this is from the organizer's point of view. I'm gonna turn off my microphone and let's click on join now. So it's connecting to the meeting. And here I get a notification now telling me that Kevstrat3 is waiting in the lobby. I could view the lobby or I could go ahead and just admit him right away. Well, let's take a look at the lobby just to see what this looks like. So here I can see who's in the meeting. Me as the organizer, I'm in the meeting. I can see who else has been invited. And then I also see that this person from outside my organization is waiting. So I'm gonna go ahead and I could either admit or I can deny the participant from entering. So let's say somehow your meeting URL or link gets shared beyond the people who you wanted to be shared with, you still have control over who comes in and who doesn't. I'm gonna go ahead and accept him in and he's gonna join my meeting now. 
Now you can see that I have Kevin Stratford and me as an organizer and I also have my guest in here as well. Now what's interesting is Teams brought this guest in as a presenter. What I can also do is if I click on the ellipses, I can make Kevstrat3 an attendee and I can change the permissions on this. Now the difference here as an attendee, uh, an attendee doesn't have the ability to mute participants, doesn't have the ability to remove or make people presenters. However, if I make Kevstrat3 a presenter now, he now has full ability to mute, to remove people from the meeting, to make others presenters. So I also have the ability to grant additional permissions or remove permissions from my guests who I bring into the meeting. So now this is one way how I could bring guests into the meeting. I wanna show one additional way to bring people outside of my organization into a meeting. And to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the calendar view. So here I am back on the calendar. I'm gonna go back to my top seat secret meeting, click into the meeting invitation. What I could do, here you see this text that says join Microsoft Teams meeting. If I right click on that, I have the ability to copy the link to this meeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the link. Now let's say that someone else from outside my organization, maybe Kevstrat4 wants to join the meeting. Let me open up another browser window and I'm gonna go ahead and now paste this URL, URL in that I just copied. It's a very long URL, so hopefully you don't make someone type that in. So here too, this other attendee also sees similar messages where you could go to the Teams app, you could download the Windows app, or you could just use it in the browser. I'm gonna go ahead and use it in the browser. Similar to before, here I am and I'm prompted to type in a name. So maybe this is gonna be Kevstrat4 who joins the meeting. And now Kevstrat4 is gonna go ahead and connect. So we have another person from outside the organization. And here too, it says someone in the meeting should let you in soon. So let me jump back to the organizer. And here too, I can see that Kevstrat4 is now waiting in the lobby. So I'm gonna go ahead and admit Kevstrat4 and let me click on show participants. So now that I can see that I have three people in the meeting. So I have me as the organizer in the meeting. And now I also have two people from outside my organization. One joined through a meeting invitation that I sent out and the other joined from a link that maybe I messaged or maybe I included it in an email or maybe I even pasted it on a site. Who knows, however I wanna share that link, I could go ahead and get additional people into my meeting. All right, well that was just a quick overview of how you can include people in meetings who are outside of your organization. And I showed two different ways how you could share that. One of them is you simply put them on the attendee line and send out a formal invitation, or you could simply copy the link for the meeting and then you could share that with people to join. If this video helped you uh, learn how you could include people outside of your organization in a meeting, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I will add it to my list of videos to create. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.